Hi everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've vlogged, so um, I'm sorry. And happy first half of the year. It's been really, really busy since we moved into the house. And um, I think last time I had done a little video was right before Logan's birthday, right when we were moving in. So um, this is what our house looks like now. Actually, that's my little... Um, Hang on, let me take off my shoes because it's harder to walk in heels. I've got a garden going on. This is my little herb garden, which as you can tell is doing great. I don't just have herbs in here. I actually have Brussels sprouts and um, there's a tomato plant here too because I didn't think this tomato was going to make it. It was the runt <laughs> from when I was um, starting seeds in the house and I didn't think that it was going to make it, but it did, so I've got carrots and spinach, which I'll have to pick again and eat, and lettuce, things like that and then if you can see over here um, Sean made me a brain barrel can you see? it is um, made of a 55 gallon steel drum that we washed out completely scrubbed the whole thing and he put a spigot on the bottom of it and um, there's my little compost, which um, this is the, the one that's ready to use. On the other side of the garage, which I'll show you later in another vid video maybe, is the one that is I put stuff in. And of course, you know I have a warm bin down in the basement. Alright, let's see. Hang on, let me zoom out. And then we'll go take a look at the garden. So walk with me, would ya? And of course, it's been so hot here that I have um, decided to take advantage of the sun and the heat to dry some towels and rugs and stuff. And let's see now. Over here, you can see my sunflower. I've got um, two types all over the place. This is the little one that's actually blooming right now. And these are the... Um, Russian mammoth. They're taller than me right now. They're about seven feet, six or seven feet tall, and they're not blooming yet. And underneath here, I have onions. Right here, I have potatoes in the mounds. Broccoli. The other, the second row is also broccoli, but they're not doing so well because I just um, thinned them out last night. And those are the transplants. There's some carrots uh, that I still need to thin out a little bit. And this whole patch right here. Um, I started them from seeds, and the seed packet actually said Kentucky pole beans. But as you can see, they're not pole beans. They're snow peas. So the packet was wrong. Right here I have some more potatoes. And then over there I have um, turnips, which um, you can see that I've already got. Well, I'll show you later that I've already harvested last night. And over there, I have um, honeydew, muskmelon, um, cantaloupe, two rows of tomatoes. I don't want to walk in there right now because I'm barefoot. Some more beans, um, cucumber, zucchini, squash, okra, and eggplant. Corn on the other side. I have a lot of lettuce. And let's see, I'll show you some of the lettuce right now, though. There's some of the lettuce, which I've already picked like two days ago. I've cut them, and they just come back, so it's really great. It's a great summertime lunch or dinner. There are some more tomatoes over there and some more lettuce. Um, I, I actually have four different types of lettuce in. And then potatoes, sweet potatoes, Swiss chard. What else do I have? Oh, I've got um, four or five different types of um, peppers over there. Sweet peppers, everything, and okra. And um, watermelon is at the far end next to the corn. And what else do I have? I think we have like eight or twelve. I, don't, I can't remember which how many different kinds of um, tomatoes this year. I can't wait to try the little stripey ones. Then I have Chinese cabbage over there and more green onions and sunflowers. I started growing the big sunflowers because um, 
I like seeds. I like the sunflower seeds. So, there's the garden. And we've been grilling a lot. And even my topsy turvy's doing really well. Look, I will show you. This was a tomato plant, a cherry tomato plant that I actually started indoor. Um, I start from seeds and then I just transplanted it into the topsy turvy. And look, it's doing great. I've got tomatoes coming already. So probably in a couple of weeks we'll have tomatoes to eat. And um, when I was planting potatoes, I had like a couple of seed potatoes left over, so I, they were kind of bad looking after they were cut. So I just kind of threw them in the back right here, and they start growing. So I don't know if it's going to turn out well or not, but we'll just let it grow and, you know, see what happens when it's time to harvest. So we'll walk to the front, which we have a tree out front that um, I put the swing set on. Well, not the swing set, but the, the swing. It used to be on the tree back there, in the back of the lot, but um, that tree is not going to hold me, so I put it on this tree instead. And right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, it's actually blooming. Um, this is hollyhocks. It's got three plants of hollyhocks among the weeds here. And can you see? It's actually blooming. This was given to us by... Um, our neighbor Faye from uh, that lives behind us and the lady that lives next to her um, the elderly lady actually gave it to her um, a few plants when she moved in so she decided to give a, a few to us also when we moved here so I think that's a good tradition and they're perennial so they'll come back next year as well I've got to weed and then the front garden, which I, we still need to mulch, haven't mulched yet. I just have a whole bunch of petunias out. And my gnomes, of course. I gotta change the spring sign to summer because it feels like summer. And in the back right there, there's nothing there right now. But next year, you'll see irises because I put some irises out. And on this side... Same thing, gnomes and petunias. And um, Logan had this toy wagon that I sort of stole and put a potted plant in, which I thought was kind of cute. And then, this is our cellar door. This, if you open this up, it actually leads to the basement. So we have uh, a storm door, I guess. No, a, a storm cellar. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't really know what this is, but we need to trim it because it keeps growing. It's some kind of vining thing, and it keeps growing and growing and growing. I have asparagus started right here, so they'll be ready next year. And some basil. I've got basil in the herb garden as well. And then this is also a tomato that I started from seed. But it's a patio tomato. Look at it. It's getting pretty big. It's about two inches right now. It won't get much bigger than this, so it just needs to ripen. And I, I planted some um, marigolds around them. And some flowers just around the place. And this little plant, I don't know what it's called. But um, it was given to us by Mary Jane, our cousin in um or sean's cousin in west virginia and it's working out pretty well it's living at least i didn't kill it yet and then some more flowers here and i am going to try really really hard not to kill any hens and chick and and um hen and chicks and aloe this year i've killed so many so far i ran out of planters so we just i just kind of put it in a coke bottle two liter bottle so there's that. And then I need to put some more feed in the hummingbird feeder. And this bird feeder was actually full of bird seed yesterday. But I have so many birds around here that um, they actually finish the food every single day. So I'm, I'm about to have to, I'm about to feed them again. You can see the kernels, like the shells and stuff on the ground. And then this thing I started, or somebody started, before we went to West Virginia a few weeks ago. And I came back, and it's growing, but I don't know what it is. 
Anyway, I'm going to have to plant it in the garden and let it grow to see what it comes out to be. But that's about it. Um, our back patio, which I planted some zinnia. And um, I'm sorry, I'm really rusty right now because I haven't vlogged in forever. But I planted some zinnia in a box because I thought it was pretty. And then this thing, I don't know what it is, but it looks like jelly beans. I thought it was neat, so I bought it. And this thing right here is a scented gera geranium. It smells really good. It smells like um, citronella. There's some more um, zinnia. But anyway, it's I'm sweating like a pig right now. Um, the citronella, the scented geranium thingy, is um, supposed to ward off mosquitoes and stuff. It's not working for me. I've tried everything. Logan and I are the same thing. We would put off on or Avon Skin So Soft or whatever it is, natural things, any those bug repellents. It just doesn't work for us. Bugs love us. And I've got so many bug bites right now, trigger bites, that looking at me, you'd think I was shooting up or something. So, But it's been a really, really busy um, couple of months since, um, you know, work stopped for me. So um, I've been trying to save money and um, grow our garden and, you know, just to live... Um, live off the land I guess trying to anyway and giving back to the community things like that but then we also have a lot of family like we have a lot of babies being born this year no I'm not pregnant no I'm not having a kid another one no um but we had a lot of weddings and a lot of babies so I haven't been able to really even have time for myself like last night I did three diaper cakes until like four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning so, um, I'm going to try to vlog more, really, for real this time. Um, and I am so sweaty right now, it's ridiculous, it's so humid here. So, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.